And Oski topples Benton 4-3. Going to be a loaded field in 4A because Central Iowa ends up with six teams in the field as ADM edging Bondurant for R3-2. Tonight with winner set Husking, or the Huskies punched a ticket back to state with a 10-0 win over Harlan as well. And they are the 4A defending champs. And when they set out at the start of this season, well, they were hoping they could be, at, be the next to add their name to the list of consecutive state champion winners. The run for a championship is made up of talent, the right game plan, and a little luck. We got hot at the end of the season and had a run to the state tournament and won a state title. That was last year when the winner said Huskies were the underdog. We snuck up on people. This summer, that hasn't been the case for 4A's top ranked team. We've had a target on our back like all year. Forcing the Huskies to be at their best every night. You can't just go out and think you're going to win. you got to come out as a team, as one, and play hard and get the win collectively. A mature take for a team that lacks seniority, dating back even to last year's title team. We only had one senior, and like we can do it again, but even with three. That's right, just three seniors on this year's roster, so the junior class has been leaned on heavily, starting in the circle with Thea Banning. What she's really good at is relying on her defense. I don't have to worry about striking them all out. I can put it on the plate a little bit and let them let my defense work and give them a little chance too. Banning has owned the circle for winners set this season, pitching 35 of their 40 games. At the beginning of the year, you could tell I was had to get in shape for that first week was a little hard, but then after that, I was going. She pitched the Huskies to their title in 2020, and she'd love an encore performance. It'd be great. It'd just make it 10 times more fun, and even to go out and do it all again would be just so much fun. The bra bracket's not quite set yet for Class 4A, but I'd imagine it will be winner set playing Oskaloosa in the opening round on Tuesday at Harlan Rogers Sports Complex. Looking forward to a jam-packed week of state softball next week up in Fort Dodge. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back with one last look at the forecast.